What's going on? That's the bye week treat, yeah. It's good bye week. Um, just stayed out here, chilled, rested, and didn't do too much. What's changed the most with the defense since the second half of that Rams game? Um, I think guys just playing faster, harder, um, executing the calls better, making some things come to life, um, whatever hurt is calling. And um, I think just the overall team chemistry, it's been better. How's, how's Jaron Reed help? Say it again. How's Jaron Reed help the overall defense? I think just his work ethic and his mentality, um, you know, the veteran presence that he brings in the locker room. It's helped uh, a number of us, especially the young guys. And so I think just his presence alone and then also his production. What has Bobby added to his leadership skill set? Yeah, 100%. Um, you know, Bobby's the ultimate leader. Um, you know, his effect goes deeper than just the defense. Uh, I think it's the whole team. And so having him back in his leadership has been, you know, a big plus for us. Has there been any... Um, certainly sharing of responsibilities. But what's the conversations between you and Bobby when it comes to actual responsibilities on the field? There's a lot of conversation going on. Um, it's a lot. So we could be talking about what we might be seeing in the run game um, as well as the pass game and then getting the D-line situated based on what we're calling. Um, if we've seen something on film, uh, earlier in the week, and we recognize it on tape. We alert one another. And so um, it's a lot of communication going on in a short amount of time before the snap is snapped. What makes Bobby the ultimate leader, as you called him? Uh, experience. Um, I think anybody with that much experience, what is this, year 12 or 11? Something like that. But I think experience is the ultimate um, teacher. And so when you've been through it all, seen the highs and the lows, especially being here in this program, um, I think that leadership, you know, a lot of that comes from his experience and then just the person that he is. What does it look like? We caught the tail end of the speech he gave a couple weeks ago after week one, but what else does that look like week in and week out? You talk about his leadership? Yeah. Um, I think kind of just being who he is, you know, obviously, He's going to go to the Hall of Fame when he's done. And people, you know, players, we look at him when he walks in the locker room, see how he goes about his business, what is it that makes him who he is. Um, so it's really more of what he's doing rather than what he's saying. Um, you know, really first in, last out type of guy. And so I think it's more so what he's doing, his work ethic and his routine and how he gets himself prepared. Can you and Bobby on the field? Talk differently now than you did two years ago, being that, excuse me, being that you've had more experience plus playing in his position a year ago. Yeah, one because um, I didn't talk two years ago. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't have much to say. I was, I feel like I was still learning, but um, that's been the biggest difference, you know, me talking honestly. You obviously were coming off a major injury. It looks like you been able to just kind of do everything, but have you felt any any sort of anything uh, through these first four games? Or? I haven't felt anything. I've, I've been feeling great. Yeah. When you look at these defenses, both teams are really good when it comes to turnover differential. Does it feel different on the field when you have two teams that are really good at taking the ball away and not turning it over? Yeah, it's a competition, you know, um, and this is why we play the game to compete. And so I'm excited for the matchup to go out there and um, and play as a unit, see how we can do it again this week. Coverage-wise, just what kind of difference does it make when the guys up front are getting home and getting pressure? All the difference. Um, when you can get the quarterback off his spot, get him paranoid, um, just mess up his throwing lanes, it makes covering a lot easier. Because truth is, it's hard to cover in this league. You know, um, guys are gifted. And when you got to cover for four to five seconds, I mean, that favors in the offenses, uh, that favors them. And so when we can get the guys going up front, and it's, it doesn't have to be a sack all the time, just getting in his face, getting them flushed, uh, it works well for us. With that in mind, how impressed have you been with Devin Witherspoon and the way he's been able to 
jump into this, get up to speed, the game he had last week and all that? I've been super impressed. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about it too much because I want him to keep going, you know. But um, I, I, I'm impressed with what he's been doing, man. And um, I just, I just want to keep doing what he's doing. He works hard, smart young man, and so it's gonna be exciting to see how it all unfolds for. Him. Do you feel? Is there any impact um, that the the team meetings you guys have that before the game, and how those go and how crazy those are and what happens there? Do you think that's any impact on how guys end up performing on game day? Yeah, the team meetings for the game, um, the night before the game, they get pretty wild sometimes. Might have a, a chair thrown into the wall or something, but um, they get pretty wild. It definitely gets guys fired up for the game. And so I think it's got a big impact. All right, thank you. Appreciate thank you.